night at 11. This is why we no longer have to worry flushing too much toilet paper will back up our system. But Dad, Red X contains billions of enzymes proven to break down even paper to help keep your whole septic system healthy. For paper, grease, or waste breakdown, use Red X. We are with our guest, Clarence. Please tell us what's going on. I'm terrified of running out of international delight. That's the fear of running out faux row. But we're going to fix that for you right now. It's so big. 64 ounces. Faux row, no, no. <laughs> the fries. Are they a real ingredient of the quarter pounder? Well, that depends on who you ask. The hottest, juiciest quarter pounder yet. Made with 100% fresh beef. It's perfect. Made perfecter. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This is Charlie not coughing because he took Delsum 12 hour. And this is Charlie still not coughing while trying his hardest not to wake Zeus. Delsum 12 hour. Nothing lasts longer for powerful cough relief. Our friend, Samantha B. New Colbert, tonight on CBS. This week, Abigail Thomas took office as the first woman to be named chief of police in the history of our city. If I fail, it will be 20 years before they give another woman this job. How do I look? You look like the chief of police. <gasps> Tommy, series premiere next Thursday, 10, 9 central on CBS. This is CBS 59. The Associated Press winner for the most outstanding news operation of the Virginias. 59 News at 11 starts now. 13 years ago today, an explosion turned the town of Jen upside down. Welcome to 59 News at 11. I'm Riley Phillips. And I'm Brandon Van Sickle. The explosion killed five people and injured many others. It took some time to get a memorial in their honor, but two years ago, a memorial was built where the explosion happened. Now they place flowers every year in honor of their loved ones lost on this anniversary. Um, because we can go there and sit and remember. Um, it's not necessarily a day we want to remember, but um, that's the last place our loved ones were. The memorial features the name and pictures of all the loved ones that were lost. And, what the ex and when the explosion happened 13 years ago, the community came together to help the families of those who died. 59 News reporter Paris Dunford spoke with the families who want to give back to their community. People felt the boom from miles away, but the tragedy was felt by almost everyone who heard the story. 13 years ago, an explosion killed five people and injured many. The town of Gent was turned upside down, but they came together to help the families of the ones who died. And they were there for the families. I mean, Raleigh County, Gent, Cool Ridge, Shady, West Virginia in general. They were also good to us and were right there with us. And if we can do anything to give back to them and say thank you, that's what we want to do. Now they want to be the ones to give back. Every year they hold a blood drive on the anniversary of the disaster. There's not a whole lot that we can do that will, will help everyone, but having a blood drive um, helps everybody. People came out to the Gent Volunteer Fire Department to either donate to a good cause or to remember the people who lost their lives in the tragedy. I try to come every time they're here uh, to help the community and to try to repay a little bit of what happened to the people here and uh, show my appreciation for what they gave and their families. Helping save lives in honor of those who lost theirs. Reporting in Raleigh County, Paris Dunford, 59 News. And that blood drive took place today at the Gent Volunteer Fire Department from 1 in the afternoon until 6 in the evening. An update now on a case we've been following closely. A special prosecutor is taking over the hanging drawing case in Wyoming County. Mercer County Prosecuting Attorney George Sittler was named the special prosecutor. He'll be overseeing the investigation into the racially charged picture found by a Westside High School basketball player during the rivalry game at Wyoming East. The Wyoming County Prosecuting Attorney's Office was asked to be removed from this case because of a potential conflict of interest. State police in Nicholas County are investigating. After nearly two years of investigation, a federal grand jury is now seated in these suspicious deaths at the VA hospital in Clarksburg. Jurors will be weighing whether a former VA employee committed murders. 59 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. 
This is one of the worst crimes I've ever heard of. Senator William Elenfeld is the former U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of West Virginia. He welcomes the federal grand jury and investigation into 11 suspicious deaths of veterans at the VA Medical Center in Clarksburg. Three of those cases are considered homicide and could result in federal first-degree murder charges because the deaths happened on federal property. It is death penalty eligible, and so this person, whoever it might be, if convicted of this crime, could face the death penalty. The veterans were being treated at the hospital and were given fatal unauthorized injections of insulin, even though most of the victims were not diabetics. Congress and the West Virginia House of Delegates Veterans Affairs Committee had requested detailed information on these cases, but were turned down. Now the grand jury is welcome news. But I will say any time a federal grand jury gets impaneled or we learn the federal prosecutors are looking into anything, I think that's, I think that's an indication of, of the fact that, it's being, that the issue is being taken seriously. Several of the families have hired lawyers to file civil lawsuits in the case alleging wrongful deaths. Attorney Tony O'Dell is representing most of the victim's relatives. We hope this results in an indictment and an arrest, but still we want answers on the hospital side. People's heads need to roll and they need to be accountable for what they did and didn't do up there. So far, six families have come forward publicly, identifying their loved one as a victim. As for when we might see criminal charges in this case, the former U.S. attorney for the Northern District tells me it still could be weeks, if not months. He says investigators will want to dot every I and cross every T and make sure this case is not thrown out on any legal technicality. At the federal courthouse in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 59 News. And today, Senator Joe Manchin reacted, saying, quote, if this reporting is true, I'm encouraged to see some forward momentum. Manchin also helped push through a Senate through the Senate, a bill requiring all VA hospitals to report to Congress improvements they made to patient safety and to quality of care. Well, in your crime and punishment, a Fayette County man faces sexual abuse charges from incidents involving an underage girl. In an interview with deputies at Just for Kids Children's Advocacy Center, the victim said Johnny McKinney of Oak Hill inappropriately touched and performed sexual acts on her. The crimes reportedly happened multiple times. McKinney faces three counts of sexual abuse by a parent, guardian, custodian, or person of, in a position of trust to a child. He is in the Southern Regional Jail on a $75,000 bond. Meanwhile, two men are on the run after escaping from the Parkersburg Correctional Facility. Authorities are looking for Jeremy Johnson and Alfred Williams after both men cut their electronic monitoring bracelets and ran away. Both men were being held in Parkersburg Correctional Center. Johnson was serving a 20 to 40 year sentence for breaking and entering, grand larceny and burglary. Williams was serving an 8 to 15 year sentence on drug assault and battery charges. If you have any information on either of these men, call 911. Turning things over to weather now. We saw some snow earlier today, but it didn't stay around for long. We'll send things over now to Storm Checker 59 meteorologist Spencer Atkins, who joins us with a first look at the forecast. Hey, Spencer. Well, hi, everybody. Hey, it's pretty quiet right now, weather wise. Checking out the real time radar. Yeah, it looks pretty quiet. No precipitation to contend with right now. But coming out of the west, we do expect to see these showers move on up from the southwest and We'll be close to those throughout the bulk of the day. Most of it will hang to the west until tomorrow evening. We might see some rain at this time tomorrow night. 34 or so in Beckley right now, 35 in Bluefield and Princeton, 33 in Lewisburg. And as we go throughout the night, we're only going to drop down a few degrees to about 31. Uh, then things are going to warm up. Yeah, that's the headline looking ahead. Warm again down the road. How about that? We'll have more on that in just a few minutes. All right, Spencer, thanks. Well, a lawsuit over the proposed Equal Rights Amendment to the U.S. Constitution could be on the horizon. Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring's office announced he's partnering with fellow Democratic attorneys general in Illinois and Nevada on landmark civil rights litigation concerning the Equal Rights Amendment. 59 News reporter Caroline Forbeck explains. Three Democratic state attorneys general are suing a U.S. government official seeking to force him to recognize Virginia's vote this week to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment and certify the measure as part of the Constitution. Connie Cordovia, president of the women's rights organization Virginia Now Incorporated, says it's long overdue. Well, the importance of that is so that women have equal standing with men in, in, the, in the face of the law. 
The Equal Rights Amendment is designed to guarantee equal legal rights for all American citizens regardless of sex. It seeks to end the legal distinctions between men and women in matters of divorce, property, employment, and other matters. Congress passed it with bipartisan support in 1972 and sent it to the states for approval. Virginia became the critical 38th state to ratify the measure earlier in the week. I was there in Richmond and I have to tell you that the yell that went up from the women in the gallery was tremendous. The lawsuit filed Thursday against the archivist of the United States comes after the National Archives and Records Administration said this week that the archivist would take no action to certify the adoption of the Equal Rights Amendment. It cited a U.S. Department of Justice opinion issued earlier this month that said it was too late for states to ratify the ERA because of a long past congressional deadline. In the lawsuit, the attorneys general argue that the deadline passed by Congress is not binding. Nothing in the Constitution says you can put a deadline on the amendments. Nothing. Reporting in Tazewell County, Caroline Forback, 59 News. And opponents warned that it would dismantle common sense protections for women, such as workplace accommodations during pregnancy. They also worry that it could be used by abortion rights supporters to overrule abortion restrictions on the grounds they discriminate against women. From the state tonight, the number of mining deaths last year is the lowest nationwide total ever recorded for the second year in a row. According to data from the Mine Safety and Health Administration, only 24 people died in mining accidents in the U.S. last year. Four of those deaths were right here in West Virginia. The Mine Safety Agency says it's reviewing two other deaths that could add to the total of 24. And West Virginia's top attorney wants you to exercise caution when looking for job opportunities. Attorney General Patrick Morrissey says the start of a new year is often the busiest time for job seekers. That's because people want to capitalize on new hiring budgets. However, Morrissey urges you not to take just any offer. He says it's important to research every employer and never give money in exchange for a job offer. Morrissey also says to be particularly cautious of work from home positions. These can often result in lost time and money. Well, moving on, a Beckley businessman is joining others in the race for Beckley mayor. Tony Martin owns T. Martin Business and Financial Services in Beckley and wants to do more for his customers. He's a Beckley native and volunteers his time as a firefighter. He ran for mayor before and says that this year he's returning to fight the same issues he wanted to back then. But I decided to throw my hat back in the ring again because the same issues that we faced in 2011, I feel like are the majority of the same issues that we face today. Our neighborhoods are deteriorating. If elected, he hopes to rebuild dilapidated homes and buildings, work on the community centers and rebuild sidewalks. He hopes these goals will bring more businesses and more jobs to the area. One seven-year-old boy is working to give back to kids less fortunate than him. Jack was five years old when he decided to give back to others in his community. He currently operates a pantry in a building just behind Arnett Chapel on Coal River Road. Kids in need can come pick up food, toys and other essentials every Thursday evening at 430. Doc just put on my heart that I need to help kids. Why do you need to help kids? Because there's so many out there that don't have anything much at all. 59 News also spoke with Jack's mom. View the full story over on our digital desk at WVNSTV.com. Spencer? And we're keeping an eye on these showers over here to the south and to the west. They're going to hang just to the west throughout most of the day. We'll tell you when they finally start to make their move toward our area in just a few minutes right here on 59 News. This is CBS 59 with Riley Phillips, Brandon Van Sickle, and Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Heidi Moore. You're watching 59 News. Go to iTunes or the Google Play Store and download the Storm Tracker 59 app. And we'll keep you informed of the storms because we're all in this together. Start the new year with our best internet deal yet. For a limited time, get internet from Suddenlink for only $34.99 a month. That's internet from the fastest provider, according to PC Mag, with a 30 day money back guarantee and no annual contract. And we're only getting faster as we build our next generation fiber network with speeds of up to one gig available. The best new deal for your new year. Act now to get Suddenlink internet for just $34.99 a month. Call 844-689-9767 or visit suddenlink.com slash fast today. Only at Suddenlink. Burdett Camping Center, Winfield, West Virginia. 
West Virginia's only Warranty Forever provider would like to thank everyone that purchased at the show this year. If you didn't get your deal done at the show this year, you've got till February 14th, Valentine's Day, to get the deal for your sweetheart. Deals on all in stock, travel trailers, and fifth wheels right now. So remember, don't throw your money away. Come to Burdett Camping Center, Winfield, West Virginia's only Warranty Forever provider. Injured in a car wreck, my whole head this section hit the side of my windshield. Let us take care of everything from the start. Steering wheel airbag, everything went off, and I mean, it just tore me up pretty good. <laughs> Call 252-5990. They made it where you actually wanted to talk to them. Helping you is what we do. These guys held my hand. They're just top notch. They did a lot, more than I ever thought they could do. We're Farmer Klein and Campbell. We know car wrecks. Call 252-5990. Hidden Treasures in Beckley is now open every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 10 to 6. All adult clothing is only $5. We have women's clothing sizes 0 to 26. Jeans, capris, skirts, blouses, sleepwear, and more, only $5. And all kids' clothes are just $3. From newborn to preteen, just $3. We have new and unique items arriving daily. Stop by today and find your hidden treasure. 251 Dunn Drive in front of Glenn's Towing. Now with the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 59. Well, everybody, hey, Spencer Atkins, and good to be back with you here for a little visit. And let's talk about how we've been kind of waiting. We've seen, what, two or three events here with snow and nothing that's really jumped off the page. You can go back, I know, in your Facebook timeline and see memories over the past week. But we're talking about six and seven years ago since we've seen anything that looks like, you know, healthy snow. And we don't have anything that's out there in the forecast in the next seven to 10 days that looks anything like that. And pretty soon we'll start running out of February and then we'll have to look into March maybe. But right now, again, let's just kind of deal with these next 10 days. And some of us are gonna enjoy some warm weather down the road here. 35 degrees in Beckley, 34 in Bluefield, 33 degrees in Lewisburg. And today we topped out at 35. So we've been up there and just kind of hanging there. Normal is 40, record 74, nowhere near that. Uh, and again, yeah, well, we'd be looking at uh, about 29 for that low in the normal is a few degrees cooler. Okay, so we have 30s right now. There are some 40s over here to the west, and that air from the southwest is pressing in. And that is the source for the next round of precipitation. And as you can see, it's forming up right now in Arkansas. It's forming up in East Texas and Louisiana. That's going to lift this way. A lot of the day tomorrow, we're going to see that rain just to the west. You might get a few sprinkles in a few of our counties, but not much of a big deal. So the overall weather pattern brings in two systems. Here's the first one, kind of brings a few showers tomorrow, and then the second one comes through on Saturday. That's a few more showers and maybe just a little bit of some snow. Upper air pattern, we're going to look at this now. So here's your jet stream up there, 30,000 feet that strong river of air and it really is set up by the temperature differences here on the planet at the surface and it responds to that and then you see these big dips here and when you're on the uh, kind of in between this should be somewhat normal between the northern branch and the southern branch somewhat normal temperatures for tomorrow saturday that northern branch takes a little dive in here so we'll cool off just a little bit and that also is a kind of a disturbed pattern and then again by saturday we'll see just a few more showers and that moves away now you see all this dry air underneath this ridge that's going to walk our way and that'll be here uh, well, let's say on Monday for sure. So here we go, watch and predictor, and we see these clouds, and we see these uh, few showers here, and they'll start to move in closer and closer, but maybe just seeing the first showers right around the evening commute. And then we'll look for the showers here to continue to be around on Saturday, and they'll just kind of hang in the area, and we're not dealing with a whole lot of rainfall by any means. Now we're talking about maybe a few tents. So tonight, uh, we're just looking at the clouds turning back here into the area, and then we'll see those showers by the evening hours and then we'll see another little round of showers on Saturday stand in the 40s dry on Sunday and then how about 60 60 on Monday taking it out to 10 days there you go we see a return to the 40s and pretty soggy though from Tuesday late through Wednesday and then Thursday that finally moves away and we're just pretty much normal so we'll keep an eye on things for you and keep you informed right here Thanks, Spencer. Well, coming up on 59 News at 11, it's the season of sickness and illness. And one local school is taking precautions by closing school the rest of the week. We'll have all the details next.
Tracker 59 10-day forecast is brought to you exclusively by your Toyota dealers. Toyota never stops working. That's why Camry is the number one selling car in America 17 years running. With easy to use tech and undeniable style from every angle. Now buy one with 2.9% APR financing or 1,000 cash back or get a Corolla with 1,000 cash allowance. Go number one, go Toyota and let's go places. This is my body of proof. Proof I can fight moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. Proof I can fight psoriatic arthritis with Humira. Proof of less joint pain. And clearer skin in PSA. Humira targets and blocks a source of inflammation that contributes to joint pain and irreversible damage. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Humira is proven to help relieve pain, stop further joint damage, and clear skin in PSA. Want more proof? Ask your rheumatologist about Humira. in a new Honda starting at just $199 a month. See your Beckley Bluefield Blue Ridge Honda dealer today. Welcome back. Germs can spread rapidly among young children, and one local school is trying to prevent that. Greater Beckley Christian will be closed for the remainder of the week. Administrators at the school say a large portion of the student population called out sick earlier this week. They decided to then close on Thursday and Friday to disinfect surfaces and prevent more germs from spreading. We've gone through and uh, disinfecting all the different buildings that we have for uh, secondary school as well as the preschool and elementary school. The school plans to open on Monday morning on a normal schedule. Musically talented high school students from West Virginia are getting a new experience this week. Concord University is hosting its Honors Band Camp. Band Director David Ball says the students were organized into three groups, a middle school group, a high school group, and an advanced group for those who exceeded expectations. It's what they enjoy. It's like their thing in high school that's so different from everyone else. And I think this is a good opportunity for them to come together and get to share that and experience that, that growth. The Honor Band program will conclude with a concert on Saturday at 1 in the afternoon. The concert is free, but you can make a donation. And Concord University's 41st Groundhog Day breakfast is less than a week away. On Monday, Concord Charlie will be making his weather predictions to the president of the university. After that, the president will relay those insights to everyone in attendance. The Groundhog Day breakfast tradition has been around since 1978. This year's guest speaker is football head coach Dave Walker. Tickets for the Groundhog Day breakfast are $20 and can be bought the day of the event. Well, coming up next, it's almost time for the big game, but is your menu ready? We have some healthier options for your game day after the break. Keep it here. Churches are the heart of our communities here in southern West Virginia. Every Sunday morning, hundreds of people gather in churches just like this one to worship with family and friends. Lord Grant your healing grace to all. But recently danger has entered through the doors of some holy houses. We watch while they pray. We keep a watch while of God's people. Join 59 News after the big game, but we'll take you inside one local church who's prepared to fight back so their congregation can worship without fear because we're all in this together. Once hundreds of players tried to force a ball across the other team's goal line. The only rules, no murder and no manslaughter, and they called it mad football. The president of Harvard called an excuse for a riot. Walter Camp, coach at Yale, saw something else. An 11 teammate roster with a line of scrimmage and a series of downs. It made the game safer and more athletic. And they called it football. This moment of excellence brought to you by Raleigh Hearing Center. 
The new year's here and Mountaineer Ford's got to sell all remaining new 2019s. So we're having a model year blowout sale. We have over $14,000 in discounts available on new Super Crew. Regular cab F-150 start at $25,999. A four-wheel drive EcoSport is less than $21,000. Or buy a new Fusion for $19,999. Fact is, no reasonable offer will be refused during this sale. But you got to hurry. Once these are gone, they're gone. So get to Mountaineer Ford in Beckley today. Why does round pizza come in a square box? Constant Contact makes it so easy to send emails, you'll have time to let your mind wander. Try email and our new website builder free. It's dinner time in America, and the breadwinner arrives home from a long day at work. Now the family can sit down at the table where everyone knows to be mindful of their manners. Dinner time has changed. Our quality hasn't. Reynolds Wrap, foil made in the USA since 1947. Back, the big game is right around the corner, but have you thought about what kind of snacks she'll be serving? Besides the more traditional snacks, the owner of the Blue Spoon Cafe in Bluefield says healthier snacks are also an option. Snacks such as hummus and veggies can be a healthier alternative to chips and dip. You can even make your favorite dip more healthy by serving it with pretzel chips or celery. So if you're having people over and, and you're having a party and you're in mixed company, it's good to have just a few healthier options for the people that are trying to eat healthy. And then it's great to still have your dips and your chips and your wings and everything that's traditional Super Bowl food. Coburn says it's also easy to make keto versions of your favorite snacks and desserts. Making snacks that are keto friendly reduces the amount of sugar and calories. But fans will be consuming more than just snacks for the big game this Sunday. According to the Huffington Post, Americans drink 325.5 million gallons of beer on Sunday. Liquor, local liquor stores had to stock up on the area's favorites just to keep up. We order a little bit extra beer just to prepare, but it's mostly the major brands we like to stock up on. But just make sure you have enough beer. That's pretty much it. <laughs> He says this year they are preparing for more craft beer and some hard seltzer sales as well. Coming up after the break, we have the latest in your local and statewide sports action inside the Sports Zone. 59 News Sports Director Logan Ross is up next. Stay with us. Ashley Home Store's sale and clearance event is going on now. Get store-wide savings or get 0% interest for 36 months. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Does your phone plan have unlimited data? Yeah. Unlimited talk? Uh-huh. Unlimited text? Okay. Does it cost $20 a month for life? Altice Mobile does. Wake up and stop paying more for your mobile service. Get the unlimited plan and nationwide coverage you're used to with Altice Mobile. Unlimited data, talk, and text on a nationwide LTE network for just 20 bucks a month for life. That's right, for life. Plus, get special offers on phones in-store and online. Altice Mobile by Suddenlink. You seriously think they're going to win? Sure. Hey, your rug's coming up. Oh, that was intentional. Okay. Yeah, FanDuel Sportsbook is offering a risk-free first bet. I could put $100 in the coin toss and get my money back if I lose. Anyway, if FanDuel is going to take the risk out of the world, it's on me to add it back. No, it's not. Can I charge my phone? Sure. Ah! That actually wasn't part of this. Join FanDuel Sportsbook and get your first bet risk-free on any bet up to $500. Hidden Treasures in Beckley is now open every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 10 to 6. All adult clothing is only $5. We have women's clothing sizes 0 to 26. Jeans, capris, skirts, blouses, sleepwear, and more, only $5. And all kids' clothes are just $3. From newborn to preteen, just $3. We have new and unique items arriving daily. Stop by today and find your hidden treasure. 251 Dunn Drive in front of Glenn's Towing. 59 News cares about what matters to you. We're listening and want to share your voice with our community. Just comment on our Facebook and Twitter stories and the 59 News social news desk will make sure your voice is heard. Because, because we're, we're all in this, this together. Welcome back inside the Sports Zone. I'm Logan Ross. It was all about the girls at day four of the Big Atlantic Classic. Starting off with the ladies at Pikeview High School versus University, Pikeview went on Went into half down by 10, but came out of the locker room hot and ready for a comeback. Shiloh Bailey at the top of the key connects with Hannah Perdue, who takes it under the hoop and lays one in for two. 
Panthers, Panthers trail by six. On the other end of the court, Ashton Boogs goes deep to a wide open Abby Cohn, who extends University's lead to seven. Now onto the fourth quarter, Hannah Purdue full speed ahead, taking it down the court alone, takes on two defenders and scores. Panthers are back within three. University trying to steal the deal. Ashton Boogs with the pass to Eden Gibson off the glass. Unity, University wins it 63 to 58. On to our next game, Greenbrier East versus Spring Valley. Spring Valley's Sydney Meredith wide open on the outside of the arc and drills a three-pointer. Greenbrier up eight to seven. Greenbrier pulling away pretty early into the game. Amaya Damon crosses over in the lane. Greenbrier up by 10. Greenbrier's Haley McClure driving hard to the basket, swings it outside to Taylor Dunbar for two. Spartans taking total control of the game with a dominating performance as they go on to win it 78 to 53. Wrapping up the night for the, of the Big Atlantic Classic as Woodrow Wilson and Morgantown play. Woodrow Wilson scoring 32 points in the second half to give them the win 55 to 37. Governor Jim Justice is a man that wears, wears many different ca caps. One of them is being the governor. Another is being the head coach of the Greenbrier East women's basketball team. Governor Justice said these girls are like family to him. Really close with Kathy and I both. You know, they, they come to our house generally before every game and eat at our house. Then they'll lay around on the couch and everything, go to sleep. And, uh, but, but they're really special kids. The Justice family is big on helping kids and doing whatever they can for them. Governor Justice believes that any opportunity you can get to help a kid, you should take it. That's going to wrap things up inside the Sports Zone. I'm Logan Ross. I'm going to send things over to Nick Farrell, who has your latest on the Mountaineers in your WBI report. A poor shooting performance contributed to West Virginia's loss at Texas Tech. And part of the problem was a cold night from star big men Derek Culver and Oscar Shibwe. The forwards are West Virginia's scoring leaders, but they converted just two of their combined five field goal attempts. They also logged below average minutes due to foul trouble. While Shibwe was held to just four points, Culver led the team with 16, thanks to a 14 for 16 performance at the free throw line. As a team, West Virginia made 33 free throws to stay in the game. But because WVU relies heavily on production from Culver and Shibwe, Bob Huggins hopes they won't have many more off nights. We can't play without Oscar and Derek and be the same. And Oscar and Derek can't play below the standard that they've set for themselves. And, and we, for really a majority of the game, hardly ever had both in together. A new episode of the Bob Huggins Show premieres this weekend. Check your local listings for details. And WVU baseball is picked to finish seventh in the Big 12 preseason poll. Take a look at that full ranking at WVIllustrated.com. That's the latest on the Mountaineers. In Morgantown, I'm Nick Farrell. Well, coming up on 59 News at 11, we'll get a final check of the forecast with Storm Tracker 59 meteorologist Spencer Atkins. And as we go to break, here's a look at our 59 News Fan of the Day brought to you by Little General. Thanks for that picture. We'll be right back. Award-winning 59 News. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I must give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. You try hard. You eat right, mostly. You make time when you can. But sometimes life gets in the way, and that stubborn fat just won't go away. Cool Sculpting takes you further. A non-surgical treatment that targets, freezes, and eliminates treated fat cells for good. Discuss cool sculpting with your doctor. Some common side effects include temporary numbness, discomfort, and swelling. Don't imagine results. See them. Cool Sculpting. Take yourself further. Go to CoolSculpting.com for a chance to win $25,000. You can get your best life, best life, best life. 
just like Right now, get five thousand cash back or zero percent financing for sixty months plus seventeen fifty cash back on select Ford Escape models. Free furniture. It's back by popular demand. It's free furniture Saturday at Schul's Home. Saturday, nine till six. Buy five hundred dollars, get five hundred dollars in free furniture. Buy one thousand dollars, get one thousand dollars in free furniture. Buy two thousand dollars, get two thousand dollars in free furniture. Buy any furniture at the comparable value price and get an equal amount in free furniture. It's the most incredible offer the furniture industry has ever seen. Free furniture is back Saturday at Schul's Home. Brandon Van Sickle, weeknights at 5, 6, and 11. Welcome back. We're going to get one final look at the forecast now with Spencer. What can we expect? All right, one final check here. Clouds moving back in, rain really holding off. And it'll be tomorrow evening before the rain gets here. Looking at trends here in our seven-day forecast first, well, we'll see some uh, 40s for the next couple of days. It just occasional little showers here and there. Really warm on Monday at 60. Stand mild, but then some soggy days. And they start Wednesday into Thursday, tapering off back to normal by about uh, Friday. So we'll keep you up to date on everything right here. And of course, on WVNSTV.com. All right, Spencer, thanks. Well, that's going to wrap things up for us here tonight. Thanks for joining us. But you can check out the latest updates to these stories and more over on our website at WVNSTV.com and get the latest updates from Alexa. And don't forget to tune in to our next newscast on this 59 News This Morning. It starts bright and early at 5 a.m. Have a nice night. Survivor Winners at War, February 12th on CBS. Another marathon.